If you've missed it, check out my latest vertical bar top build, as well as I showed off this image before, and this is the how-to video on how I actually built the image with the theme and the ROMs and getting everything flipped so it's vertical and you can just take a regular computer monitor, flip it around, and then orient it in a way to where it's like a vertical bar top or a cocktail bar top. Uh, really cool stuff, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy this one. First thing you wanna do is you're gonna need three programs. You can use Etcher, I like Win32, they're both great. Download one of these programs. Go ahead and download. You're gonna want the latest version of, Retro, of RetroPie. Go to retropie.org.uk slash download. Raspberry Pi 2.3, you want this one right here. You're also going to want, the, on Arcade Punks, they have an arcade pack of all vertical games. They're uh, Japanese, European, US releases, really good stuff. You can do it via Usenet, Google Drive, or a torrent link. It's up to you. These are all the same. It's just three different ways of getting them. The first thing to do is just install Win32. You can see I already have it installed here. It just looks something like this. This is gonna allow you to write the RetroPie image to a micro SD card. So now we have RetroPie.img. That's the image that's gonna go on our SD card. And then we have in here all of our ROMs that we downloaded. You can see all the ROMs and zip files and then all the artwork here. So we're not gonna touch that yet, but we have our, our games and we have our operating system. So now you're going to put your micro SD card in your computer or through a USB adapter of some sort so your, com your computer can sense that there is a, a micro SD in there. Go ahead and open up Win32. And when you open up Win32, just make sure you're on the right uh, device that's your micro SD card. You will want a 32 gigabyte micro SD card for this. And, uh, or you can get away with a 16 as well. And go ahead and click this folder and then you want the RetroPie 4.4. So you can see I now have the RetroPie4.4.img going to my G drive, which is the micro SD. I'm gonna go ahead and hit write. And then that should take somewhere between five and 10 minutes to finish up. All right, once you're done writing that, you should have your boot drive all written. You're just gonna see overlays and a couple of these files here. You want the config.txt file, go ahead and open with WordPad. And you can see I've already added this here. You're just gonna type in display underscore rotate equals one. You might have to say equals three. Uh, depending on if you're where your monitor is facing vertically, um, but it's either you're rotating it at 90 degrees or you're rotating it 270. Okay. Uh, once you do that, you're going to exit. Say, do you want to save? Say yes. And at this point in the tutorial, you're going to go ahead and put your micro SD card in your Raspberry Pi 3 and boot it up. On first boot, you should be prompted to uh, configure a controller. Just go ahead and hold down a button in your controller, and then just go up, down, left, right on your D-pad. Start select A, B, X, Y your bumpers, and then your triggers. Click in your analog sticks. If you don't have one, you could just go ahead and hold down A and skip these, and then hotkey make it select is my suggestion. Okay, and then click A on OK, and it should bring you back into um, RetroPie here. And then the other thing you wanna do is connect to the internet. So to do that, just go, you're not gonna have these Ataris and stuff on here yet because you haven't added games. I already added games. So you should only have just like RetroPie here, for example. So go ahead and click into RetroPie. And uh, you don't even have to do this. You could just plug in an ethernet cable directly into your Pi. Or if you're on Wi-Fi, you can go on Wi-Fi here, click this. You may need to put a, a keyboard to your Pi to type in your Wi-Fi password, unless you have one that's not Wi-Fi protected. Go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi. The third way to do this is to transfer it through a USB thumb drive. It's just drop your ROMs on the thumb drive and then put the thumb drive into your Pi and it automatically uploads them to the correct directory. And I've already done a video on that, so I'll link it below if you wanna do it that way. But I like Wi-Fi, I think it's really easy, especially if you have a computer. All right, and so on one side we have our, our Tate Arcade Pack and we're at the ROMs directory under Arcade and on the right side we just went into our RetroPie and then we're gonna go on the ROMs directory and you can see I've already transferred over but all you do is go to Arcades, go to Arcades here and just Control A, Control C and then transfer them over into the Arcade file on your RetroPie. So it's going from my computer to the RetroPie very easy. So that takes about, depending on how fast your network is, could take up to an hour or quite a bit faster. Now, uh, next up, you want to transfer, this does come with a custom theme, which I like, and that's what I'm running. So as you can see, it's in config, if you look at my file directory here at the top, it's at RetroPie configs all emulation station. Well, guess what? We have RetroPie configs all 
emulation station. And just so you know, you're not gonna have a theme folder here. So what you need to do, this will not exist on your image. It will not say theme, so you gotta do new folder, and then you gotta type in themes, or, 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 if you have no themes, if you have no themes yet, you can literally just delete that and then drag this into this whole directory. All you gotta do is drag, drag themes from emulation station on your computer to the emulation, to the configs all emulation station on your Pi. Once you've done all that, all you have to do, once that's transferred, is go to your Pi, click shut down Pi, or restart your whole Pi, and when you boot back up, actually is go to UI settings and then change this to vertical, from carbon to vertical carbon. That'll change you to that theme you just installed. It should look very similar, except when you're in the actual directory here. And the other thing you wanna do is click on a game and then click A immediately to go to your configuration. And I'm running almost all these games on the Final Burn Alpha Libretro, so L R F B A F B Alpha. Go ahead and click OK. That way they'll all launch with that and that's where the majority of them work really well with. So once you have that set up, you'll see we can launch these games and now they are vertical. Now it looks a little smaller on your screen, but it's totally stretched out and across my stream. The reason why is I have it triple rotated right now. I'm rotating it on uh, the Raspberry Pi display, but then I'm rotating it again on my screen capture. So you're looking at it right now on the screen as if, um, as if it was a horizontal display running this image. And that's why it's not filling up all the little nooks and crannies on your screen. But I can tell you, that it fills up 90% of the screen if you have a flipped monitor. Your monitor is vertical, not horizontal, not widescreen. So as you see, it works really well. Uh, there's no sound right now because I have this going out at 3.5 millimeter because I, um, I am running this on my bar top as well. But if you wanna change the sound, I just wanna go to audio here and change it to HDMI, so it went out of the HDMI port. But the video snaps play sound, the games play sound. I added some Nintendo and Super Nintendo. These will not display vertically. They will display even smaller. So, you know, take Street Fighter 2. You're gonna see it's, it's gonna take even less of the screen. Um, it's not that bad, but these games were meant to play horizontally. They're not a vertical game. So therefore, they're gonna you can still play it just fine, and it'll still be the right orientation, but it's, not gonna, it's only going to take up maybe 60% of the screen because it's a vertical build. So vertical builds, you know, it, it's not stopping you from doing it by any means. Um, it's just you're going to have to, you know, run it as if you were like... Like you guys do when you record with a cell phone and you're recording it vertically. You only get so much of the screen. Okay? But as far as like the controller and up, down, left, right, those are all oriented to exactly how the screen is. So you don't have to worry about, you know, down being left and left being down. It should be fairly easy. Okay, so that's working. Let's get out of here. So there you have it. Um, it's not my image. It's not a Drew Talks image. It's somebody else's who had a really cool ROM pack. And uh, I had this latest build where I built a mini bar top. Check out those videos if you haven't already. And I needed a build. I checked out, there's a Verdi Pi build out there that's in a track mode build, but it's on an old version of Retro Pi. And I found other couple ROM packs out there, but they weren't this complete. I like that there's like Japanese and European releases on here because those versions of their game are different enough or just awesome enough to have by themselves. So um, having those video snaps, having the, the photos, and having the ROMs all put together for you were a lifesaver for me. I was, you know, if you Google around, there's just so much information about vertical builds, and this was by far the easiest solution for me. It's not saying that it's the best, but it's one of the easier solutions out there that's gonna get you up and running, and then you can always start here and work uh, out. I do like, especially like about this build that I'm on RetroPie 4.4. So it can work for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. It'll work for the Raspberry 3B. Um, you know, I have more advanced compatibility and more features in this version of RetroPie. Um, so it is a new uh, build using old ROMs, new build, good stuff. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.